hey guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is uni powell and today i would be doing this look i'll be creating this look for you and if you want to see how i achieved this look snap snap soft glam why don't you keep on watching and so guys um i'll be taking my um boot rose water traditional skincare glycerin and rose water yeah i'm taking this to prep my skin and just like a little bit of cotton wool to prep my skin so guys i'm taking my flawless ivy um foundation my flawless ivy hd foundation in the shade nutmeg for my skin this is my exact skin tone so i just took like three pumps there my neck is naturally darker so i try to apply foundation there to just a little so it will um, even out but can you see that can you see that finish like it's already it's covering perfectly like this is my go-to for concealer, I'm using these two concealers. This one from LA Girl Cosmetics in the shade Fawn, and this one from ZKL Cosmetics. This is the Nigerian brand in the shade Honey. Yeah, this is a little bit lighter, lighter than the Fawn. This is darker. So I'm going to use Fawn on my chin and my forehead because I don't want it to be extremely light. Then I would use. I don't want to be extremely light and I will use um, the Zikel in honey for my inner corner. Now for my under, the under of my eyes, where the work really is, okay? Notice I'm taking it to the side of my nose because I want to give my nose that pointy, pinched um, appearance, that look. Because my nose is kind of like spread out <laughs> and flat i want it to look like pointy so i take the concealer to the inner side of my nose to the side of my nose okay guys this is all blended out up next i'm taking my um setting powder and i'm using the benign banana powder to set my the highlighted areas of my face so i'm just setting my face lightly i am not baking because i'm not going for a full glam bam just going for something very subtle i'm using my beauty sponge to press it in I'm going to set my brows too because I'm about to do my brows. So I'll be taking this bra, brow mascara from Minister. I'll be taking this brow mascara from Minister to lighten my brow. It's kind of dark though. It's like the shade of my brows, but it helps to tame my brows. So I'm taking it. This is my spoolie. Just taking. If you want me to do an in-depth brow tutorial, do comment in the comment section below and I will do that for you. Because you know, we're family. We're family, boo. <laughs> so I'm taking my pencil. This one I'm, is almost out. Well, I have a new one, but I have to finish this one. This one, I'm in Nigeria. Anybody wasting products here? 
anybody wasting products here so i'm going to use this to just align my brows before i clean it up with my concealer And apparently today my brows are distant cousins, okay? They are not They are not twins They are not sisters, they are cousins It's allowed, okay? It's like allowed It's allowed it does not have to perfect every day And let me just put it out there When you start doing your brows and you just see one into the difference Leave it Because if you don't leave it you end up ruining every ruining everything like you end up spoiling it but it came out okay there would be more tries obviously on this channel but i feel it's it's manageable we can continue okay guys i just got one eye done a very simple hollow look and brown outside with gold in the middle so we are going to do this on this eye okay so first of all i'll be taking my p louise base in the shade room or two yep i don't know if you can see that p louise base in the shade room or two to um pass my base my eyeshadow base to make my eyeshadow pop pop just a very tiny amount a very very tiny amount and i'm taking a flat brush to blend it in just um, a flat brush like this small flat brush to blend it out in so my go-to palette for today's look is the Nubam Beauty Starlet palette the Nubam Beauty Starlet palette and I'll be taking the shade this brown shade called um, Ludia this brown shade here called Ludia, then this orange called Venice for my transition. And I love this palette so much, it's very, very pigmented. So I'm using the brown shade Ludia in my around my eye, my crease area. I'm just packing it in, then I will blend it all up. I'm using a blending brush, a round blending brush here you can pack in the eyeshadow at the same time blend it in so first of all pack it in then i'll blend lightly lightly so i will take a I'll be taking a totally different blending brush like this also. The same round my round blending brush to blend my use the orange shade in my transition for my transition. Yeah. So I'll be taking this shade then okay. The orange shade I used was Vega. The matte orange shade was Vega, but this is Venice. I'm using this Venice. It's a shimmer orange, shimmer, shimmer orange glow um, shadow. And I'll be using a bigger flat brush like this to pat that into my. Um, on my crease just in the middle to give it that hollow effect and it's looking so pretty at first when i used this on this other eye i wanted extra i wanted more i wanted more so i went into a gold shade Okay, outside of that palette, it's coming together. I took my Taos Beauty, Taos Beauty, um, the Dolly Lana palette, 
and I took the shade Tolu Lokwe. Tolu Lokwe. It's this gold sunshine yellow. And I just place that on top of the Venus just to make it shine more. Can you spot that? Can you see it? I don't think the camera is doing justice to this. Wow, it's, it's different, you know. Venice did his work, then this came out, talked it, you know. So, guys, for my um, eyeliner, I'm using this one from Zaron Cosmetics. Zaron Cosmetics, this is a um, Nigerian brand, too. Zaron, and the has a very nice, tiny pen. Like the mouth is so tiny. I don't know if you can see it. Ooh, it's in my hand. <laughs> and it's really really dark. So that's what I'm using for my eye and my inner eye. Trying to achieve a very fox eye look. Up next I'll be going to my skin and I'll be finishing up my face with this flawless IV finishing powder. It's the HD powder in the shade Honey. I don't know most of the products are used for me. They're all honey shades. I don't know for some reason why. So, using this palette, my Nuba Beauty palette, I'm taking that Vega, this Vega, as my blush. It's an orange shade. I just got used to using it. So I'll be mixing it up with the Ludia. This Ludia is darker, but the Tiny, tiny from the Ludia. Who does that off? Does this and um, smile? Just the littlest, cutest blush. I love me some orange blush. I have regular blush, but for some reason, I just go used to this one. So for my um, highlights, I'm taking this Meniza Sisters. And I'm using this light shade. This is the darker shade I've been using since, and I've hit pan, obviously. But this light shade, for some reason, just started calling, calling my name. And I used it, my last makeup look, and it came out fire, okay? Give me that extra. It gave me that extra glow, so I'm going to use my fan brush, my mini fan brush, and show you what I mean. Okay, Shh, let's show you. Let me show you. Hell, blind my enemies. Thank you very much. Woo! I appreciate this bad boy right here. Uh uh. What happened? So we don't find like 10 people. Oh! <laughs> so, guys, this is the finished look. I just went off camera, put on my pulses, and did my lips regular, regular lip gloss. How, what do you think about this look? Don't forget to spot that glow. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you like this video why not give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what kind of videos you want to see on my channel also if you've not subscribed baby what are you waiting for subscribe don't worry i got amazing content coming for you trust me you're gonna love it um yeah share with your friends see you guys in my next video guys bye